but now that we have the trading dates figured out, let me check the audio really quick. Testing one, two. Wait, what? Am I not streaming? Yes, I am. Okay, there we go. All right. Now we got that figured out, I'm going to move on to checking if we're missing data and then getting it if necessary. And then after that, using the data to create five minute bars. Um, I do remember one of the things I, uh, or that thing I wanted to say and I forgot what it was. Um, it was regarding, uh, where is it? Oh yeah, it's regarding this, um, basically, yeah, if it's not fast enough on Python, try Go. Uh, one thing that's nice nowadays, this is what I want to say earlier, is with ChatGPT, if I implement something in Python, I could just say, hey, convert this to Go, or convert this to whatever language, and it's pretty good. It might not be perfect, but it'll give you at least a starting point, and you can tell it, you know, use this library instead of that library, whatever. Um, so yeah, that's... Unless it's a huge project, and it's this is definitely not. Um, if you need to convert something from one language to another, it's not too bad. So yeah. Um, <clears throat> all right. So from the client side, uh, we'll be working with client. And what do I have going here for now? That's util um, client. So we're still not at the point where we want to do this. So we're still here. And then from here, we want to do um, <clears throat> minute data. So minute data, minute data, minute data zero. So I'm going to focus first on just converting the data, finding it missing in here, and then actually, yeah, let me see. So, um, bars, dates, I'll just call it, um, calc bars. Dates is going to be calc is the thing time frame I'm calculating the indicator over, which would for now be RSI. Um, basically, the time frame I'm looking at to, and this could be multiple in the future, but for now we'll just assume one and change as needed later. Um, <clears throat> Calc bars dates equals um, uh, trading dates, and then we'll go negative five. I don't, I don't do slicing like that often, so I don't always remember how this works. So the last five, yeah. Um, but we want to start at the current date. So we want to say trading dates. Um, uh, start date index equals trading dates. Uh, dot index, uh, start date, mm, print, start date index, I want to see what happens when, When I have one that's not in there, so let's just do ABC ASDF. <clears throat> not in list. 
I'm actually good with it crashing like that for now. Um, without any exception handling, that's fine. I'll know what, where that's coming from, and uh, yeah, for now I'm good with that. So we want to do, oops, basically started index up until our data index minus five, I think. No, this is not right. Um, well, let's look what it's doing. Uh, it's basically backwards, right? Minus five up to start data index. Uh, whoops, I get rid of that. Um, it's not including start data index, so. Why is that actually? Um, I mean, I could just add one, but isn't there another way to do this? Oh, skip me a tutorial. Um, I think it's fine. Just add one. But what if my start date is one, two, three, four, five? Um, let's say days back. Calc days back. Uh, calc days, uh, I'll say five, <clears throat> I'll know that to mean, um, minus calc days back, minus one, So 20, yeah, all the way to 14, good. And what if I had, um, so what if I had a uh, start date was the last date? Does this work? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, so those are the dates. I need to see if those files are available. First in the 15 minute, <clears throat> let's just create some CSVs. Um, I'm just going to have all tickers, right? Yeah. There, let's just create a few of these. Um, let's do two, three, four, Five. I'm gonna rename these. Oops. Um. I don't know what I'm, I don't know what I'm doing right now. Thirteen. I don't know enough. Thirteen. Um. Fourteen. What do I have? Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. 
uh, 17 and 20. Is that correct? 14, 15, 16, 17, 20. All right, cool. Uh, let me just create a copy of this. And then WebSockets client. Basically, I want to see if they're missing from here. And if they are, then get them from here. And if they're missing from here, get them from Polygon. So, um, let's see, missing uh, calc data, calc bars equals that for file in. I know for date in calc bars dates if os path dot exists not uh os dot path dot join calc bars dir print date Um, date. Uh, dot CSV. Something like that. Oops. So it shouldn't print out any, let's say if I delete, or just rename this, 17, say rename this one. Okay, cool. So that seems to be working. I'm going to assume if they're in here that they have the data that they should have in them. Um, um, I guess I could just not create this list and just straight up in here. There's leave it for now, but just get calc bars, pass it the date, make a function, which I'll throw in util, Does nothing for now. The fuck is that? What is this? Must have hit something. Alright. Cool. Passing a date. And from the server, grab this. You really have this in some sort of a config, but this is fine. Import OS. Um, data, minute, data dir, that. Okay. What the heck is all this? Uh, 
All right, 520, 2024, cool. And then in here, print date. Um, which is what I was doing over here. Uh, let's just test this on one file. Cool. And then in here I can handle, like, if it's missing, <clears throat> hit minute bars. Or minute data date uh, date and instead of this I can call this to test this out so it should do nothing but if I do this it should do that all right cool so within here Basically, this uh, loads from 15 minutes if missing calls get minute data. And that is called um pass this in actually calc bars dir. I don't know if I want to pass in the directory or the calculation but for now I'll pass in the directory that might be a list at some point we'll see And minute data, minute data dir, cool. Um, I do want to throw it all in one data frame, right? Yeah. Um, loads from minute data dir if missing calls poly API flat files. All right. Um, hey, calpars. Um, calc the other is none. Um, I used concat before in a loop. It's not good if you're doing it a ton, but I don't think it's, I don't think it'll be bad here. PD dot data frame. Let's bring in PD and PD dot data frame. I'm gonna remove this for now. Um, calc bars. Uh, bars DF equals. Calc df equals calc df equals uh, pd dot concat um, calc df 
stars do you have? Okay. And then calc you have dot to CSV yes. There are a hundred there because I know I don't have a file named that. But I'm gonna accidentally overwrite. Um Okay. Get calc bars and here. Let's just return PD to data frame for now. This should all work. There's no attribute. Is it that? Yeah. Okay, I did it correctly there. So we should get this. This is empty. Yep. Okay. Um. And then minute data, daily data. Bars. I'm just gonna delete this. That was for so I could easily switch it back, but I don't see needing to do that. Um so these will all be there. Um let's just do I don't know, A and this is one. Uh, B, two, or one, one, one A, two B, or one B. Uh, let's do five, five, four. Four, four, three, three, two, two. Still should give me back nothing. And then um, within calc bars, uh, where is this? Uh, you tell. Um, if OS dot path dot exists else Okay. Uh, stop path dot join that and f string of date dot csv uh pd or return pd dot data frame oh no no return e uh, uh, read csv um uh bars f bars path so let's see what that does. Hopefully we have, no, it's not working. What? I'm a little bit surprised by that. Util. Oh. Wait, is this happening? Print. It's not, that is not working, okay. Um, hmm. 
Hmm. If always path to exist, you know, let's do print. Uh, bars path. What's going on here? Oh, it's not even calling that. Why not? Oh, I'm trying to handle it in here. Yeah. It has no attribute exits. True. Exists. Okay, should have the data now, nice. Um, cool. And then otherwise, Passes. Um, let's just do that. So if I do uh, add a one at the end, Prints that, and then it should be missing that. One, two, three, five. Okay, cool. All right, so we got this function should be fine. Um, return. Uh, return p dot data frame. Let's remove this. I don't technically need this else, but I do like it. It makes it more clear to me. Um, okay. Loads from loads from minute data dir if missing calls poly API. Right. So probably gonna move this. Extract GZ file data dir, data string temp data dir. Um Yeah, it needs to format it too. Um if missing, then loads, then, uh, what is it called? Um, resamples, etc. Okay. Um, let's see, I'll be right back. One minute, just gonna grab something to, or grab some coffee and some water, bear back.
All right. Let me remove this. Okay. So after I do all this data stuff, um, then it will, it'll be nice because, um, trying to do all this data stuff, it'll be nice because, uh, then I could focus on getting the actual test working, um, which would be basically this client needs to do the calculations and then yeah go from there okay let's finish this loads for minute data dir if missing all poly api so let's break that down let's assume they exist for now which they do uh where was that right so I really need to, I'm going to take this function and put it over here. And gonna remove what is it called? Extract GZ file. Get rid of these two. Move them over here. And temp data dir. I don't think I even need anymore. Wait, do I? Let's do these two. Um, init data. Does this just pass it through? I don't need that anymore. Because that's gone. And then temp data. Where's temp data dir? Get rid of it here. Move this over here. And extract cheesy file. Um, I wonder if I should even pass that in. I don't think I need to do that. I'm going to have it global. TMP. TM, wait, is this util? Oh, I'm doing whole word, that's why. Nice. And then lowercase tmp. Just that. Cool. Alright. Uh... Close data, so get extract gz file uh, data equals that. This takes the params of data dir and date string, which used to be data dir and start date. What's data dir? What is data dir? Minute data dir. Okay. Let 
minute data dir and date print data. What does this give me? Shitill return CSV file path. Extract GZ file. CSV file path, and then you gotta read it. Okay. Okay. So let's just let that be for now. Oops, minute data dir and date. So this should extract the uh, seventeen into here now. It does. Very nice. Okay, delete it. Um, DF, so then. Loads, resamples. Wait, where? Oh no. Then loads, resamples. Alright, um. So, what happens if this is missing? I don't really have anything for that, do I? Um, no, I don't. So if this is missing... Gonna crash. Okay. If OS path that exists, Um, I'll do an else again. Again, not necessary, but it's it's clear. What's the problem here? Wait, what is the problem here? I have mixed spacing. Um, there we go. Ah, is there a way to, I don't have a formatter in here, do I? Dang, that's on my other computer. Um, I want to use the same one. I'm actually going to grab that. Give me one second. I'm going to grab the formatter, the one I'm using on my other computer, and use the same one here. I think it's just like the built-in one or something. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, my computer is loading. Should be none. Okay, cool. If CSV file path else pass pass. Ah, that's starting to annoy me. Let's get that information. Let's see. I am using PyLands. No, is that it? Don't I already have that? Maybe I am using PyLands for formatting. No, what? Hold on. I gotta see this. Wait, am I... What am I thinking right now? Where do I have that formatter installed? What? Is it on my other account? Hold on. I'm on my other computer really quick, just checking on something. Swore I had some formatter. I don't want to use the same one. Oh, auto pep. It was on my other account. There we go. Come on, format the document. What is this? Uh, I have some sort of uh, configuration somewhere too. Fuck. Where is that? Let me find that. Pi code style. Um, let's see. Okay, cool. It's not large. Um, let's throw this in my user directory. I think that'll work. This is a dot pi code style. And then it has a brackets pi code style. And then max line length equals 200 and indent size equals two. Let's see if that fixes things. Ah, dude, come on. If I'm not talking it with auto pep eight. There we go. I don't know what was going on. All right. Uh, let's just shut this computer down. Shut down. All right. Back to what I was doing. 
Loads from minute data dir. Oh crap, the diff's gonna be crazy, huh? Eh. It's not terrible. I'll do any other formatting uh, on the other files. Hmm, you know what? Hold on. Just so I can avoid that, I'm gonna do manual formatting for now. And then have a formatting commit after I'm done. If missing loads from minute here's this. Here, let's just do this. I'll just say load data work in progress. I'll just say this is resample data work in progress. All right, and now I'll do a formatting commit. Sure. Tons of formatting here. It's fine. Okay. All right, now, moving on, Let's see, test data, temp data, bars, where were we? We were in poly web sockets, or WebSockets client and util. Oops. Okay. So yeah, if no CSV file path.
and loads from minute data dir. Already got that in there. Um, I think that's about right. Those at the top for now. Okay, so the bars path is that if the bars path exists, get it, return it, else get the minute data and return that. Um, actually, I want to resample here. Um, that's data, yes. Okay. CSV file path, get that. If it exists, missing, then load else do that and extract load pretty much that Where is that data I was printing? I just get rid of that. Um, <clears throat> I think it was here. I got rid of it. Okay. Get minute data extract. date. Okay, let's go into the server, which has that logic. Pretty much just this. In here, no, in here. I could remove that now. I know that's fast. I don't need that. Um, really don't need that anymore. That's still fine for now. Yeah, let's just leave that how it is. Okay. All kinds of issues here. There we go. So if CSV file path, read CSV file path. Do that. Do that. And return.
No, 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 no. Three samples here. And then... CSV file path. So it gets this. I forgot what this looks like. Okay. Empty data frame, yep. Ah, uh, should it be doing that though? Date, if OS path exists, else, get this. I'm a little bit lost for a second here. So this bars path, boom, reading from here. If it exists, oops. Bars path, DNA does not exist. Right, does not exist. Date. I think that's why. That's why I was seeing an empty data frame, because it is doing that for some of the dates, right? No. Resampling empty data frame. Minute data DF. If CSV. Oh, what's this? Um, return none or something? Yeah. What am I printing that's printing none? Or twice, I mean. Is it in here? No. Oh. All right, cool. So bars path does not exist resampling. Right. Right, 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 right. So if it exists, return this, else do that. And then extract. And load. Nice. Uh, 
um, if it already exists. Then it just returns it, right. So this should still have the populated stuff, yes. Um, hold on, I did want to grab this though. So this should not print, or it should print none, but if I bring this back, it should work, right? That's what I actually want to test earlier. It's loading, I think. Yeah. So this... So this does exist. I could check if it exists in temp data, but I'm going to leave that. I'll just load from here. It's pretty fast. Um, so if I was planning to exist, return it. That would be these. If not, get the minute data, do the resampling, resampling, Format and your sample, and then return it. There we go. Calc data df is p dot data frame and return. Calc data df. There. That's pretty much the plan. Cool. All right. Um, let's assume they exist for now and do that part of it. Actually. No. It's not. So we need to make it show that, whereas now it shows one. I mean, it, did I say none or one? I don't know, none. Um, so now, And then extract and then load the so same shit and then return data df. Is that right? I believe that's correct. So the only part I'm missing now is this. So let's look at how that works. <clears throat> I don't think I checked the audio, but I think it's fine. Um. So let's look at how do you see there we go. Um
So I don't have this set up for now. I am actually going to skip this. Dang, where do I have that set up? Um, let me throw this whole thing in a function. Get poly flat file. Ah, uh, did what does that do? I gotta indent it because it, it doesn't know. Yeah, that makes sense. Um. Let's get rid of all this garbage. Throw this at the top. About a three, looks great. Um Get rid of a bunch of this crap. Um, grab that in a minute. Global crypto, global forex, US indices. So I want to care about. Um, paginator. I don't need a paginator what I'm doing at all. Yeah, I basically just need this part. What is this? Object key, split that. Split that negative one, so that's this. And then local file path is that. Okay, whatever. Um, where am I using prefix? I don't think I need that. Yeah. Don't need any of this. Um, kind of want to get this information right now. I have to stop the stream, which is not a big deal. Nobody's here, I don't think. Um, it wouldn't take too long, anyways. Is there any way I can get it otherwise? I don't think so. I just don't have that information. But what I do want to do is print. Um, secret access key. Just do this loading before I stop. Access key ID, secret access key. And then let me just make sure there's nothing here. Off screen for a second. Yeah. So we have 
Um, Secret access key, access key. Access key. Access key ID and secret access key. All right. Um, get polyflap file. What's this three? Yeah. Uh, All that stuff's whatever. Okay, let's just bring that back in. What do I have here? Yeah. Okay, polyflap file. And return none. So we should see those keys. And I screwed something up. Access key and secret access key, cool. So I'll just have to replace those with the actual values. Um, and yeah. Is there anything else? Um, flat file, I don't know, uh, what do I call this? Yeah, flat file path. Actually, this should be fine. Get polyflat file, I just need pass date in here. And that should work. <clears throat> um, I could ignore that for now and do the resampling for the ones I do have. But that's a good place to take a little break. Um, I'll grab the information, walk around, maybe take a longer break. If not, I'll be back soon. All right, thanks for watching.